hey guys welcome to path to nowhere so i just want to share with this you um on more or less could help you decide whether who to phase three because phase three a certain sinner or a group of sinners is going to impact um succeeding you know phase trees or is going to impact you in a way some of them is, is going to impact your resources so again who can you face three? Who will you face three? So if you have your own comments, please comment down on who will you face three. Uh, you don't need to tell me why, but these are my opinions in terms of uh, who you're going to face three, how you're going to choose them. I'm not going to give you guys specific, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to give you specific uh, number of sinners to phase three but i'll give you more or less my opinion on a few okay so number one is what is the impact of that sinner on your team you have to consider that let's i'll show you two examples in which i'm sure that i'm going to be phase threeing um the obvious would be nox everybody's going to be phase threeing nox or already have or had Okay, the reason why I'm going to phase 3 Nox is because of this one. The damage reduction when she's simply on the battlefield is big enough. Okay, Her impact globally on the field is good, is big. Number two is, um, of course, her ultimate. She packs a punch. She widens her attack. And she's very, very useful. Not very useful, but she's very important in controlling mobs and, you know, and making sure that, that you can sweep them, especially if they're bunched up in front of you. So Nox actually gives me a lot of relief in terms of enemy pressure. That is why I'm getting her. She's obvious. I'm sure you guys are going to be um phase three her so again nox is an obvious choice even with her shackle here um i'm going to go there later but again for her skill alone she is a no-brainer um shackle crime brand it's 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 going to be it's going to contribute to your decision also on how impactful she's going to be the other one that i think you guys um some of you guys are not um are not uh, thinking of phase three is actually kelvin so i'd like kelvin because of her overall impact to the team as well especially when it comes also to delaying mobs mobs are usually what i hate especially those with cores that you need to break so you need a little help in terms of slowing them down I think for me, Kelvin is very underrated in this portion. She is um, she is classified as B, right? So B, B rank. But she can be A. Trust me, guys. I've used her. She has slowed a couple of groups or mobs for me. So she has um, no decrease of movement speed by 30%. So this is actually her... You know, it, it doesn't change from 20 to 30. It's already 30%. So that's a, a big impact. Even if you don't have her skill leveled up, this is what her ultimate gives. And damage is increased. So she can pack a punch even though she has or um, uh, she inflicts movement, um, less moving speed to the enemies going towards you. So also again movement speed if you're in that diamond if a lot of mobs are actually um in that diamond that she's create or she has that this one the frozen freshness then there's additional slow so during the battle as well um this one this is another passive so covers an odd sinner with lowest percentage so she is a defensive she has defense most of her kit is built around defense and she contributes to the overall victory of the team. That is why I am phase 3 her. She contributes a lot and I really like this about her. So I'll be featuring her on how to build her soon in a video. So again, going back to my point, 
the impact of the sinner on your team it's it really depends upon you and how you measure it how, what your play style is but in general make sure that these sinners that you that you um face three first are going to be um used frequently that's one so and again and most of the content you will be bringing them and you have decided to bring them because of their overall value okay next one is um let's go let's go to he um hecate okay so number two is their exclusive crime brand okay of course you guys know about this already once you go to phase three they have an exclusive crime brand with them and for hecate actually hecate is one of of um of the sinners that I'm going to face three as well. It's too obvious. So for Hecate, there she she deploys nightmare to the grid. Physically, nightmare can block two enemies. And as Hecate's HP 120%. Again, this this crime brand makes a difference when it comes to choosing a specific sinner to face three. So again. Um, choosing a sinner to phase three also, you know, you should consider the crime brand. Um, what does the crime brand bring? Um, how will it contribute? Will it, you know, it will it be good enough if you open the crime brand at phase three? So those are the questions that you need to ask yourself. Okay, so it's it's also obvious. We're gonna go back. It's also obvious that if you're if if uh, you're going to phase three, Kelvin over Knox, she's going to be cheaper to promote to phase three, because even in the regular level ups, she's actually cheaper because she is rank B. So that is the you know that is also the consideration that you need to do, because if you just phase three all of your S ranks. Then it would be so expensive that you cannot even, you know, use some of your B ranks and A ranks or have them to phase three. So also consider the cost, the resources that you have. As I've said, again, be conscious of how you, what is the sequence? Are you going to go with Knox first, Hikati second, or Kelvin, Kelvin on the third, or Knox, um, Knox, then Kelvin, then Hikati? It's up to you. But again, please be please um, be worried that um, as your rank goes down, it's cheaper for them to be phase three. Okay, and la and second to the last point is when you phase three a sinner, it's usually usually go in all them. Okay, you go in all on, on them because you also invest on skills. Okay, you invest also in shackles, which you'll have to summon for banners. So again, it's an all investment on the sinners that you're going to phase three. So also make sure that if you're going to phase three them, you're going to go all in, not just phase three them because you just feel like it. So again, it's an all in investment. And the last part is going to be, let's go back to Knox. Let's, um, okay. So some of you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but the decision to phase three might be, might be because of the skin. Who knows? Who knows? So I'm not sure if, if, if you're, if you're going to, you know, I don't blame you if you like this skin more than this one. Um, I like the skin more actually, but again, there are other people who are considering the skin. That is why they're all, they also want to phase three that sinner. So again, number five, the skin is by choice. Again, it's by choice. It's by preference. So the skin part, I'll leave it up to you whether you're going to phase three because of the skin. But the first four are very important. So impact of the sinner, exclusive crime brand, you have to consider that. Cost to upgrade um, rank A, B, and S. And also your all-in investment, you have to consider that as well. So that is it, guys. I hope I was able to help you. This is a short, um, you know, just a um, discussion on who to consider 
And um, right now in the comment section, um, who are you going to face three? Your top three. Your top three. Just give me your top three. Then I'll share mine with you. Um, I think I said it already. So I'm going to say it here. I'm going to uh, face three Nox. Next would be Hikate. And the last one would be Kelvin. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.